What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be covering Arweave, which is a permanent decentralized storage solution. If you weren't aware of this, I guess the internet, it has no memory. So it is possible that if you upload something on the internet, if 20, 30 years go by or something like that, it's possible that that data could vanish. Or if it isn't vanished, it's possible that other people might be able to go and alter that data wherever it exists. So one of the benefits of Arweave, it is permanent storage on the blockchain for a one-time fee. When I first read that, I thought that is definitely way too good to be true. It's got to require ongoing payments in order to have an economy. You're gonna have to have people willing to store all this data for the permaweb, but we are going to get into that in this video. So we're gonna go through here. I wish I had found Arweave sooner, but maybe not because the price has actually been higher in the past. So we're gonna talk briefly about the price, mostly about the project itself, but a little bit about the tokenomics, some of the stats as well. As we're going through here, let me know your thoughts on Arweave down in the comments. And if you end up liking the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos in the future. And if you wanna catch the live streams, I do a news live stream every single day. So let's get into this. I found this really, really good comprehensive article. It's called, written by, actually, Permanent Data Solutions, What is Arweave? It was written back in November 16th, 2023. But if you go back and look at the website, a lot of the web pages that are here for their data are actually even older than this article. So I'm mostly gonna be going off of this article and then we have a lot of other stuff, you know, the Block Explorer, CoinCarp to kind of dig into the tokenomics and all that other stuff. But I did spot check what this article talks about on the actual website itself too. So this article is legit. So getting right into it, what is Arweave? Arweave is a global hard drive that never forgets. It's supported by a decentralized network and incentivized by the token, AR token. It provides storage for any type of file permanently and sustainably with a single upfront payment. I watched a Coin Bureau video on Arweave before this, and in his video, Guy mentioned that at a certain point in 2017, I think it was, I can't remember which government or anything like this, but someone was caught trying to modify archived files, which is obviously not a good thing, right? If you read 1984, the idea of rewriting history and changing definitions, all this is kind of a dystopian nightmare scenario. So Arweave is really trying to make that not possible to do. Once data is put on Arweave and you pay for it to be on there, it is on there permanently and forever. And it's not just files and data you could put on there. It's other cool stuff as well we're gonna get into. A large ecosystem of infrastructure and software projects use Arweave's protocol to create applications that were not possible within permanent data. So it's not just simple data storage. You are able to build on top of Arweave. Arweave offers two things that are unlike anything else on the internet today. First thing, permanent file storage, as we talked about. With Arweave's innovative economic system, an endowment is created that will fund the storage of data on decentralized network for a minimum of 200 years, but most likely much longer. And I do think it, it will be much likely, uh, likely much longer, but we're gonna talk about that later as well. And the permaweb, the ability to save web pages and applications permanently so they will continue to function as originally designed and remain indexed and searchable in perpetuity. You might notice from this sentence what I was just alluding to about things that you can save onto Arweave. So in the land of crypto, you could create a smart contract and save that onto Arweave and then actually, to my understanding, still be able to interact with that, with that smart contract immutably living on top of Arweave if you wanted to interact with it. The permaweb looks like the normal web, but all of its contents from images to full web apps is permanent, retrieve, retrieved quickly, and decentralized forever. Like they did say, 200 years, but we're gonna get into why that's likely gonna be forever. A little bit about the tech here. So blockchains, traditional method of confirming data is sequential. So you can think of Bitcoin, right? You've got one block, then another block, then another block, and it composes itself like a chain. 
our weave has something called a block weave. With our weave's block weave, only a random piece of data needs to be verified before a new piece can be added. So instead of a long chain of data, the result is more like a weave or a 3D spider web of data. The benefit of this though, is that because the verification process is shortened, it dramatically reduces the amount of energy needed to run the block weave. Block weave kept the immutable, unchanging nature of blockchain technology. All data put in the block weave stays in the block weave. So kind of like Vegas, I guess, what happens if Vegas stays in Vegas. Once it is there, it cannot be deleted. This does not mean though, that all the information on the block weave is necessarily public, invisible to everybody, but that the information simply, you cannot remove it. The R weave protocol is still being tweaked to optimize performance. So it's not a project that is set in stone. When I watch that history video, it's coming out with upgrades seemingly all the time. Our weave, it allows up to 1000 transactions per block, but they can also, each transaction, they can be bundles of numerous transactions or large data sets. Bundles can even have additional bundles nested within them, essentially allowing for our weave to take on an unlimited amount of data. And then as I mentioned, so it's actually in here, miners can now compete to earn rewards with standard desktop computer hardware. And they actually limited it specifically for that so that it wouldn't get centralized. How though does the AR token fit into this whole thing? So the foundation of Arweave is the decentralized network that actually stores the files added to it, right? The, that is the base of it is decentralized permanent storage. Instead of wasting energy verifying the data again and again, the block weave is able to efficiently store data and a lot of data. They don't do it for free though. People all over the globe store data on our weave because they get paid to do so. Storing files for centuries requires an economic incentive to do it and one that must have longevity. So it has to be worth it. And you have to have a reason for the people not to delete this data. As part of its design, they created this Arweave token, the AR token, and it is used as payment to put data onto the network. So you're actually, anytime, if I wanted to go put a piece of data on Arweave, I need to buy the token and then spend it on the network in order to put my data on there. So when you put a file onto the Arweave network, you have to pay a one-time fee and AR. And as I just mentioned, the upfront payment to pay the initial storage cost for 200 years and the remainder goes into an endowment fund for future storage years. As humans, we are used to prices going up in almost all areas of our life, especially with the government printing money and causing inflation, right? But data storage is one of the few areas that goes against the trend. Over the past 50 years, data storage has seen its cost decrease by an average of 30.5% per year. That is incredible. Crazy quick advancements in technology. Arweave's working assumption is that the price of storage is going to continue to decline over time. Are they going to be betting on it declining at 30.5% per year forever though? No, they are actually being incredibly conservative and they are assuming that data storage costs will decline by just 0.5% per year. And you might, you might be able to see where this is going. That's why I think a one-time upfront payment is going to last for way more than 200 years into the future. If data storage declines are anything greater than 0.5% per year, this simply adds to the number of years that that data will be stored. As mentioned, they do have an endowment and the endowment will be able to pay for the cost of storage based on the interest generated from the fund. And they give a great example here. So think of a university. Universities use interest from their endowments to pay school costs, such as funding for faculty positions without ever touching the principal of that endowment fund. The most prestigious schools definitely have these, Harvard's, Yale, Stanford, universities like that. Unlike universities, which generally have ever rising costs like labor and you know paying people, Arweave is using interest towards storage costs which are declining rapidly. So not only is it gonna be cheaper to store data over time, but they're, they're making money on interest, which is going to pay for that data to be stored on there even further, pushing it out. The Arweave endowment has already been built up to a sizable amount, over 44,000 AR in January, 2023. So we're talking, uh, I don't know what this is at the current moment, 
but that's like almost two years ago now. And actually, let me pull up the Explorer to see if I could find that really quick. Okay, so over here, the cumulative endowment has more than doubled in two years. And as of today, September 17th, it's up to 100,635 R tokens. So just look at that. The endowment is growing. The cost of storing data is decreasing. And so that's why this is going to be a perma web. Our weave is built so it can have an ecosystem built on top of it. Our weave is a layer one block chain, I guess a weave, right? Block weave upon which other technologies can be built. Storage itself isn't that interesting. Uh, that is definitely true. That's why I have a hard time getting into deep in projects, generally speaking. I think DeFi is more interesting anyways. But the issues it uncovers, a reliance on big tech, privacy concerns, hacking, and unexpected data loss are relevant in the modern world. There's even entire movies. I think there's one called Shazam, where if you go try to find that movie to actually watch it, you won't be able to find it. You cannot find that movie on the internet. It's, al it's almost as if it didn't exist, either deliberately or just because the internet forgot. So what can you do here? I highlighted just a few. So you could put smart contracts on Arweave, automatic execution of computer code, right, right. User apps, social media, file sharing, archiving, and public data records. So maybe, you know, governments and states and countries, whatever, they can adopt this and just use this to store their public data instead of paying for their own storage, ongoing storage to do that. They can just pay for it one time and that's it. Arweave is a modular blockchain, keyword, it's a buzzword, the last like two years or so, where the execution layer is independent of the consensus and data availability layers. I've heard that before, I just don't remember the exact project. In other words, Arweave is less of a blockchain and more like pieces of Lego that snap together that to build whatever a developer dreams up. And already, tech giants like Meta have begun to upload their data on the PermaWeb. And it looks like down here, trusted by the best on their website, you got Meta, Metaplex, Mirror, and also Instagram, which I guess you would expect Instagram, uh, and also because Instagram is owned by Meta, but oh boy, I bet you there's a lot of people posting stuff on Instagram. They're not gonna like uh, being permanently stored on Arweave. And this is what that tech stack looks like. We've got an apps layer, tooling, uh, decentralized, I don't know what CDN layer means, off-chain computation, right? And then at the base layer, you've got Arweave. Real yield is something pretty important to me, and you can do that on Arweave. They have something called profit sharing communities, so these, this is a mechanism for developers to express the ownership and governance rights of their permaweb app, permaweb app in the code. So permaweb, permaweb apps using PSCs directly distribute their revenue as micro dividends to their stakeholders using an integrated profit sharing token. Profit sharing tokens can also represent ownership of the revenue from specific items within platform applications on the permaweb. An example they have here is for music to allow users to buy portions of the revenue generated by a specific album is what one band is doing when an artist uploads a new album to these platforms a new profit sharing token is generated which is initially owned by the artist but then as sales happen for the songs or the album that revenue share goes out to the other token holders so maybe the artist wants to sell half of the ownership of the album, right? Like the ownership rights, they get half the revenue share. You kind of cashed out some of that, if you want to put it that way. And then you still own 50% of the equity in your album. And they've got a lot of apps built on here. This is just, I didn't go dig into any of these uh, in particular, sort of did not have a lot of time, but there is obviously a lot of interest in this tech stack. You might be wondering about fees, and if you go to Arweave fees here, right now it's about $14 per gigabyte to store something permanently on the web forever, which I actually think is pretty good. Looking at the stats, the weave size is continuing its uptrend, which must mean that people are buying, right? They're paying with Arweave to put data into the block weave, and it's just on a straight up trend. And remember, it's permanent, so I don't, 
I don't expect this chart to be like a normal price chart and have dips in it. This is just gonna be up only because it is stored there permanently. Although I went to the addresses tab and for some reason in May, 2024, there are no new addresses. Although I am gonna see if I could find somebody to interview uh, to maybe share what's going on with this R weave. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in team interviews. On to a bit of the tokenomics here, or actually lack thereof. What I alluded to earlier is the price is 1842. And if you notice, the coin is basically fully circulating. So now the endowment is what's really gonna be paying for a lot of that storage. Although the distribution of the tokens, not really sure, but if you look at the price, right? It made it up to $46 this year in 2024. And right now it's 1842. So if you like this project, possibly a good opportunity, not financial advice, anything like that, to maybe look at maybe adding some to your portfolio or something like that. They did have a seed round in 2020, 2019, 2018. If you look at the price points, 13 cents, in this private round, it looks like the price was 56 cents. So these investors have done really well. I don't, I wasn't able to find an emission schedule, team unlock schedule. Is, did they dump? Is that what the, is that what happened here with this dump in the price? Or, you know, have they not? I really do not know. On CoinCarp, usually there is a rich list. So you can see the top addresses. I wasn't able to find the top addresses over in their view block. Explorer, but there is no rich list. So I'm not able to see how condensed the current, you know, token distribution is. But if you go to token inside and look up are we this initial distribution is horrific, in my opinion. So in the Genesis block, 83% were already sort of mined. And then over the rest of that time, 16.7% would be released. Maybe there's information on this vesting plan and where all these tokens went, but I was not able to figure that out. And then lastly, they are working on another project called AO, which is which stands for Actor Oriented, I believe. Key takeaways, AO is a highly scalable blockchain network built on Arweave. Uh, it's a hyper parallel computer, which allows computation to be carried out simultaneously in parallel. I assume they're going with infinite scalability there and computation synchronization, whatever that kind of means. Overall, I think it looks like a really interesting project. I want, I know that there's other decentralized storage projects out there. One in particular is called Jackal. So I wanna review that one and then see how that might stack up to this because Arweave is already top, it's, a, it's ranked 65 on CoinGecko, 1.2 billion market cap. Whereas a coin like Jackal, they also have decentralized storage, but with privacy added in there as well. And it's only got a market cap of 16.4 billion. So it might be a better risk return, but either way, I'm gonna review this one. I might compare the two as well, but Arweave, sticking with Arweave, leave me your thoughts. What do you guys think of Arweave down below? If you did like the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you on the next one.